Hello, I'm Bianca Peters. Before we begin this week's episode of My Squamish, we invite you to watch the public reaction immediately following the signing of the amended MOU regarding the future of our community waterfront. Take a look. You were recently in council to hear the amendment to the MOU. What, how do you feel about that? Oh, I think things are moving forward. I think that uh, one third of the land would be parkland. It's a great move forward. And I'm sure that changed uh, somebody's vote. I'm disappointed because um, all along, um, as I've spoken to you and to, to Bianca, um, I've always thought that it should be more industrial use than, uh, than residential. Um, I've lived here a long time. Uh, the wind blows down there. The rain falls sideways in, in the wintertime. It's going to be an awful place to live. Uh, I believe it's a fair representation of the District of Squamish uh, voice uh, approval process. Obviously the vote was close, uh, but it did make representation as the um, survey that was done. It almost came out to that 60-40 uh, split. Very, very similar. Well, I'm pleased, very pleased that Raj made the motion for that amendment. And I think the primary concern for most of the community was the protection of the parkland. All along I thought that it should be zoned out and this in, in effect protects that. We had an amended motion tonight on the MOU and it was 4-3 in favor of the amended motion. Uh, what is your feelings on that? Well, you know, first of all, I think it was a very good process. We got lots of good input from people. We had feedback from the public. I think, you know, everyone should realize that 4-3 is um, an endorsement, but it's not a huge endorsement, so we have a lot of work to do to get to the next step. Um, I hope the public stays as engaged for the next eight or nine months if we walk through this process and, and do the master plan, so we really do get an in input. Um, I hope Paul X and SODC, you know, takes note of the concerns that were raised tonight and um, make those part of the uh, plan moving forward. I have only one thought. <laughs> I think it's a terrible, terrible deal. I've said that from day one. And I have one comment to the councillors who voted in favor of it. Uh, forgive them, Lord, for they know not what they do. Well, I, I, I feel good about the decision. I've been pro master plan waterfront development, yeah. But MOU is part of the steps along the way. So we've just taken one step. So. And how do you feel about the amendment? Uh, I'm just hoping that everybody, like Qualix and that, all think it's going to be okay. And I think that once we all get into the master plan, you and me and everyone will be down there and we'll all be agreeing on the final outcome. Um, I think this will be a good compromise if it's workable for Qualix. Um, it guarantees the community uh, one of the things that we've been working for, and that is a substantial portion of public parkland. It also guarantees that there'll be a significant piece of land set aside for some commercial or light industrial development. And I think those are important amenities for the community and things that we want to have, uh, and this will make sure that we get them. Now, if, in fact, Qualix says that this amendment is not something they could live with, where are we at with the agreement and this deal? Uh, Probably it's good by Qualix, uh, and we'll just start with uh, some other developer or some other program. Um, we don't necessarily have to go back to square one. There has been some planning work done. Uh, that's what we spent our $1.6 million on, and I think we could just pick up the pieces and, and carry on. Well, it went basically the way I thought it would go if they all showed up, and indeed they all showed up. So it was four to three, and I'm not surprised. Oh, and what, why? Well, because we knew both of them. There was one swing vote. Mm -hmm and he swung. So how did you feel about the amendment? Oh, I mean, it, it allows the developer a way out. Right now, it removes a third of the property from development. Why would the developer want to stay around when 20 acres off the south is gone, he's lost maybe another five or six off of the west. There's nothing left. He probably will walk. In other words, what they've done, in a practical sense, is they voted no. In a letter to Mayor and Council, dated October the 19th, 2006, Qualex Landmark Group of Companies said, With respect and regret, we are terminating our involvement in this process.